Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm and we are back again with another video to help you on your adventure with Caternix quail and becoming more self-sufficient. In this video, we are gonna be talking about the Jumbo Whites. That is right, we're gonna give you all the details about them, average weight, average egg size, how many they lay, the highlights and all kinds of stuff. So it's gonna be really interesting. Also at the end of this video, we're also gonna show you two different versions of what you can hatch out. Uh, and we're also going to talk about the many different names of the Jumbo Whites. Uh, and we'll get to that in just a second as well. So if you don't know what that means, I highly recommend you stick around to the end. I will make this as quickly as possible, uh, but the end of this video I have actually not discussed before, so this will be new information. Uh, but let's talk about the Jumbo Whites first. So this is the Jumbo Whites. Now, how to sex them, you do need to vent sex them between six to eight weeks old. Um, so they're not feather sexable. Uh, I can kind of tell at about four weeks on how they act, whether it's a male or a female. Uh, but really, you need a vent sex between six to eight weeks old. Um, now, let me go over the highlights real quick. And I've got to get my notes that I wrote down. But the highlights are they are jumbo size. Uh, so they're jumbo size in meat and eggs, which is nice. Um, they're really good egg layers considering how big they are and how big their eggs are. Um, so typically... An average quail lays about 310 to 320 eggs a year. Jumbos usually lay less than that because they're larger and they're larger eggs and they just don't produce as much. Now with these, they produce about the same as a regular standard, uh, which is really nice for egg production uh, goes. They are the cleanest to butcher. So once you butcher a quail, these look the nicest, uh, which is also nice. And they are the largest egg layer uh, that we have in the barn, which is which is really cool, uh, which I'll get to in just a second. So those are the highlights of the Jumbo Whites. The average weight is 10.5 ounces for the males at eight weeks old. Now, technically a Jumbo is 10 ounces at 10 weeks or above. We do eight weeks, uh, cause that's when we butcher. We think that uh, if you butcher at eight weeks, you're saving the cost of raising and the cost of feed and your time and energy and effort for the extra two weeks. And it's just not worth uh, keeping them for an extra two weeks to butcher. Um, so we weigh all of ours at eight weeks old and if they don't make the cut, they don't make the cut. We don't let them go until they're 10 weeks. Um, so our average weight for the males is 10.5 ounces at eight weeks old. The females are 11.5 ounces at uh, eight weeks old. And you can expect to get about a 13 ounce hen at 10 weeks old if you do let them become your breeders. Uh, so it's a fairly large quail. Now the average egg size is the largest in the barn, which I talked about before. Their average egg weighs 16.6 .6 grams. Uh, so that's a fairly large, nice size egg. That's exactly what we're looking for. We like to stick between the 15 to 16 uh, gram range. So they are right where we want them to be on the larger scale. Uh, their production is 310 eggs per year for the first year and 290 eggs for the second year. Uh, so they drop off a little bit, but not too much. Now their average lifespan, uh, like I've said in other videos, you can have them live three, four years, but we're talking productive lifespan. So when, how many eggs they're laying. So the first year is 310, the second year is 290. They typically start laying uh, less at around two years and two months old. Um, so that's kind of when you want to replace them before that uh, because their egg production starts dropping off uh, quite a bit. Their average hatch rate on chipped eggs this year from people that have purchased from us is a 71% hatch rate uh, on chipped eggs, which is a very good uh, number. We're very happy with that. Hatching true, and that's what we're going to get into now. Now they will all hatch white, right? But there will be two variations of this. Uh, so what we're saying is 100% will hatch out white, 97% will hatch out white with a black dot on the back of its head. Um, now, I do want to show you two other colors real quick. Um, I will show you the first one again. This is what you're going to get about 97% of the time. Calm. Is an all-white quail with some dots on the back of its uh, head. Sorry. I can't get its feet. Uh, so that's an all-white quail. It's a little dirty, but it is all-white. And then, very rarely, and I mean very rarely, 
you will get open your wings thank you an all white quail with no dot on the back of its head uh, and this happens usually about one percent of the time one out of every hundred is what we're uh, doing now and then you can also get about two percent of the time what some people might call a panda and this one's crazy so it's white with the black dot but if you look if, at its butt it's got a couple extra feathers um now we're trying to breed that out however those are actually the ones that weigh the most uh so we're not exactly sure where we're going with that right now we are keeping them out but we're putting them in a separate cage um, but you can expect all three of those colors again the first one that i showed you that just had the black dot on the back of its head 97 percent uh, will hatch out like that one percent will hatch out all white with no black dot and then two percent will hatch out the panda or a couple extra feathers that are not white um and then I did want to talk about the different names. So a lot of, especially newbies, get very confused when you hear a bunch of different names. They all mean the same thing. So that's why it's very confusing. So we call, call ours the Jumbo Whites because they are jumbo size and they are white quail. Easy peasy, right? Well, you can also hear the names English Whites, Recessive White, Dotted White, or Texas A&M. Uh, they all mean the same thing. Uh, technically they're all supposed to be a little bit different but they're not um, so when you hear all of those it's really just a white quail uh, and that's really just breaking it it's oversimplifying it but I think sometimes that's best is oversimplifying uh, so that we don't have to confuse ourselves more than what we need to already and I get very confused very easily uh, so I've got another video to do real quick and the male is yelling at me saying let's get this done He wants to go back in the breeder cage uh, So I will be back with another video in a few days. Make sure you stay tuned I've got some really good videos about jumbo Egyptians I've got some good videos about the Rue gene and what it is uh, And so much more so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have any questions Feel free to join our Sunday night live at 7 p.m. Every week on Sundays right here on our YouTube channel and if you have any questions comments concerns or anything in between comment below I check the uh, comments daily on our YouTube channel and try to respond to all of them uh, so until next time everybody stay safe